Welcome to the new video by DJSPRC. We have the SCX10, SCX24 here. Keep saying X10, 24, uh, 20, SCX10. It's not. Uh, I'm doing a bunch of upgrades to this guy right now. One of the, the other upgrades I'm going to do is the brass front steering knuckles. It's just going to add a little bit more weight to the front end of this truck. Now, best I remove the wheels off of it. It's a lot easier to work, pretty much. You don't need to remove the back ones like I did. Uh, I just did, because I just did the upgrade of the shocks. Um, and one of the first thing we'll need to do is, let's unpack these guys here. And you will notice there is some sleeves. These are nice. Let's unpack the sleeves. And these are super easy to lose. I'll put this aside. Now we're going to remove this guy here. You just pull out. Now there is a pin. Very small. You can see it right here. Do not lose that. They're hard to replace. And they're hard to find. Now we're going to remove our steering link. You could remove on both sides, but I'm just going to do one side at a time. I remove the top screw that holds the knuckle there. There we go. Now I'm going to flip it sideways. You're going to remove the bottom one. There we go. Now we can remove the physical complete knuckle. Now we're going to push on the axle to remove the axle. One of the bearings stayed on it that I do like. Sometimes it could be a pain. I'm just going to take my screwdriver and push on the other bearing. And now you'll have your knuckle in your hands. Now these are uh, written on it. This one's uh, written right, the other one's gonna be left. And if you put them, they do match. Now what we're gonna do is grab our bearing, pop our bearing here, grab our axle, the bearing's already on it. Hold the other bearing at the same time. There we go. And now we're gonna reinsert it in the vehicle. Now on your axle, you see, you'll, you're gonna see, I'm not sure if the camera's gonna catch it here, but yeah, you kinda see it. She's really not gonna wanna focus. Try to go to where the white is. You see there, there is like a, in, in the hole, or a slot. That does match over here. You'll need to turn it until it keys itself in. Put your knuckle at the same time. It might be. Sometimes they're a little bit tricky. Now what you're going to do is. Grab your screw and one of the sleeves. Put your screw through the sleeve. And you're going to screw it in. The sleeve is basically a filler.
because the plastic they were able to put it a little bit smaller and this gives you a lot more of uh, a wiggle and the other thing too you can physically use the brass after a while uh, on it you know having a sleeve in the middle gives you a little bit more of uh, of play and less and more endurance should I say maybe and keeps it to be able to turn I just feel like it's not yeah, it's in it's it's <laughs> it's so small compared like I'm used to work on a 110 scale and 18 uh, and this is, it is weird. Now I'm going to reattach my steering link. If I don't drop my screwdriver. And we're going to do the other side. Now the other side, oh, before I do this, I'm going to put this pin back in. Again, it's extremely easy to lose this pin. One of the things you could do is grab yourself uh, a Scott towel or even um, a towel. And if you do drop it, at least it falls on the towel. It doesn't fall on the ground and you'll be looking at it, not looking at it, looking for it. Like, see, mine just dropped. Come on. There we go. I'm just going to put my finger on the other side to prevent it from falling again. And I go on top of my X. There we go. And now they do the other side. Remove it. Pop the pin out. Put the pin aside. Remove our steering link. And basically repeat the steps that I did on the other side. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to continue this. And I'm not going to bore you from doing another side. If you have any questions or comments, post down down below. I'll be gladly to answer you. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you like this video, hit the like button in the corner here. And I do appreciate it a lot. Thank you for watching.